Welcome to this past paper question about sequences. And one of you asked on my website, explainingmaths.com, uh, to help with this question. And you can do the same. Go to my website, explainingmaths.com. You'll find all my free resources and you can also ask me your questions. All right. So in this video, we're going to have a look at questions A and B. And there's going to be a next video where we're going to have a look at question C. And as you can see, it's worth loads of points. Nine points for this diagram, two points. And question C is actually another six points. And this is usually the last question in a paper four uh, exam where there is some sort of sequence and you have to investigate um, yeah, the situation. Okay, now do not let this put you off. This doesn't mean it is difficult. It just means it's worth a lot of points. Let's see what is going on. The first four diagrams in a sequence are shown below. So this is diagram one, two, three, and four. And as you can see, some sort of triangles. I see dots, I see lines, and I see squares there in the middle. Let's find out what they say. The diagrams are made from dots, yeah, squares, and they're joined by lines. Well, fantastic, that's what we just noticed ourselves already. And then we have to complete the table. And the table is, the diagram is diagram one, two, three, four, and five. And that relates to these, but we only have the triangles up to four. Now, of course, we could draw triangle five ourselves, but that's going to take too long. Let's find out if there's some sort of pattern we can recognize. The number of dots, six in the first one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's correct. Nine. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. Twelve. Okay, you can count that yourself and you will count twelve. So how many dots in diagram four? Now, you can actually just count this, yeah? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 dots, guys. Whoever said maths is difficult, yeah? Um, but then diagram 5, and again, we're not going to draw it. Hopefully, you see some sort of pattern here. 6, 9, 12, 15. Then, indeed, in diagram 5, you're going to have 18 dots. And um, what is the pattern? It is plus three every time. So to find the nth term rule, because we have to finish this box as well, the nth term rule is, well, the term term rule is plus three. So I'm going to write down three n and I'm going to check the first term. Is it three? No, it's six. So I need to add three to go from three to six. Okay, so three n where this three is the term term rule and this is what you have to add or sometimes subtract to get the actual term number. Now always check this here because we will make mistakes sometimes. So let's say you check it for another term, let's say term four. Okay, so three times four is 12 plus three, indeed 15. Good. Now moving on to the number of squares. Zero squares, let's find out. Yeah, zero squares, one square in the second diagram. That's right, one, two, three over there. And then one, two, three, a four, five, six now. Very good. I can count till six. Um, and I put it there, six, okay? Um, but now diagram five. Now, it's perhaps a little bit difficult to see the pattern here, but they give me the nth term rule. So I can find or I can use that rule to find the amount of squares in diagram five. I substitute five for n. Five minus one, a half times five is two and a half times four, which is 10. Fantastic. So I put the 10 there. I'm well on my way. I'm doing really well so far. And now perhaps uh, you can see the pattern plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. Okay, but you don't need to see the pattern to answer the question. You can use the nth term rule. Moving on, number of triangles, four, nine, 16. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 16. And how many triangles in diagram four? Now I could count them. But hopefully you see these are all square numbers. Yes, indeed. Two squared, three squared, four squared. So the next one is five squared. Let me do a little bit thinner. There we go. So five squared is 25. There you go. And you can count that just to make sure you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes, fantastic. I feel good about myself. And then I know that the next one is gonna be 36, which is six squared. But then they asked me for the nth term rule. And for a quadratic sequence as this, some of you think that's difficult, but it's not. Because what do you do? Write down the square numbers at the top of the term number. So one squared, one, and then two squared, and three squared, and four squared, and five squared. All right, there we go. And then you have a look. What is going on? Can you see, you know, if you look at those square numbers and the actual um, sequence, 
can you see what is going on? And as you can see, the 4 is there, the 9 is there, the 16 is there, the 25 is there, next square number 36 is there. So the nth term rule is the term number, but then one more squared, there you go. Yeah. So for the first term, one more, so 2 squared is 4. For the second term, but then one more, so 3 squared is 9. That's how you can do it. Okay, moving on to the question B for 360 lines, which diagram has that many lines? Um, well, the amount of lines, they give you the uh, nth term rule there. So we've got to find out when is that going to be 360. So 3 over 2, n plus 1, n plus 2. When does that equal 360? Well, first of all, we're going to divide both sides by... 3 over 2, eh, or times 2 divided by 3. So, n plus 1, n plus 2, equals, let me see, 720 divided by 3, 240. All right. Now, uh, you can do two things. Uh, you can expand these brackets, uh, equal it to 0, eh, and solve the quadratic equation. Or you can realize, well, these are consecutive numbers. And um, yeah, you can do it by trial and error. Yeah? So 10 times 11 or 11 times 12. You know, and to reach 240, it's not going to be 1,003 and 1,004. Huh? It's also not going to be 5 and 6. So you try numbers, which if you add consecutive numbers, if you multiply, it's about 240. And then I know very quickly already you're going to find, well, for instance, 15 times 16 is 240. So what is n then? Yeah, what is n? Well, 14 plus 1 is 15, and 14 plus 2 is 16, so n is 14. Okay, so that's your final answer. Now, again, you could also have found that um, if you expand it and then solve it, it's just going to take you slightly longer, but that's also a very good method. Good. Now, go to the next video where I'm going to have um, a look with you at question C, another six marks for this question, and go to my website, explainingmaths.com, for all my free resources. And please, guys, like and share this if it was useful. That's much appreciated. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.